Hello everybody, I am back, and today, we have a snow golem. You can still shear it. You can actually still shear the snow golems and make them snowmen. That's really funny. No, go away. I can't believe you can actually still do that. And this is 1.2. Because in these four shulker boxes, we've got stuff from 1.2. I mean, some of it isn't from 1.2, like these shears that I have. But yeah, look, they've added fireworks and a brand new thing for it. Like, so they have a search thing. With all of these blocks. And tools and weapons and mobs and stuff. And here, here is where you get nature stuff, so you can get coal by tapping on the thing with the arrows. So tap on the thing with the arrows to choose whichever one of them you want. And I'm using the beta version. Look, you can choose all of this when it's here. But yeah, I'm using the beta version of Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is why it's, um, which is why it's kind of glitchy. It's still really cool. We've got everything in items, look, we've got armor stands and stuff, but I'm going to show you all of that stuff here. So, for some reason, the blue stained glass is, I mean, the light blue stained glass is called Tile Stained Glass Pane Light Blue Name, which is really weird, but it's still really cool. So, let me just grab everything out of here, and I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, I think I got all of the panes. So... Start with the light blue glass, and it's really cool how they changed it too. When there's only one around, because that's how you can make lightsabers. I'm not gonna show you how to make the lightsabers though. You're gonna have to go into somebody else's YouTube channel, search for how to make lightsabers in Minecraft, and then it, it'll come up with a certain one. Buy a pig in a suit, and then that is when you will find out how to do it. You can connect these together. I don't know why I'm using the ones I already did, but... Yeah, look, it's stained glass. Is that all the stained glass I had? I'm sure there's more, wasn't there? Yeah, I have more stained glass. Oh no, wait, this is not showing up for some reason. No, why did I throw it away? And there we go. All of the stained glass together. Now if I throw it all away and get new stained glass. Well, what I mean by new stained glass is just stained glass. So just that. Gotta wait for it to happen. Because it takes a while to move it around, which I really don't like. Which I really don't like. I don't know why I said I really don't like. I meant I really don't like. Because it takes so long. And here we have it. Like gray stained glass. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to show you all of the stained glass because, I mean, they're all just glass but stained. I mean, they look just like this, but they're in a box. Like they're in that. 
square form. I mean, they're in a cube, not a, you know. I also added these fireworks stars. I'm not sure what they're for. I mean, I guess they're just to make fireworks. They got structure blocks. Move out the way, pig. And we, so yeah. 3D export. Which doesn't make any sense to me. So I don't know how it's supposed to work. I guess it's just for decoration. Let me know in the comments how it works. If you do know how it works, please. And then here... We've got, yeah, the fireworks stars. Not exactly as cool as the armor stands. Clap for armor stands. And if structure blocks, you can't just find them. You have to search for them. Like type sl slash, um, You have to type slash give, and then you put in your username minus secretive cool kid because I can't put secretive cool kid eight one one. So get slash give, and then you put your username, and you type in structure structure block. But yeah, look at the armor stand. You, if you crouch, you can make it pose. So I'll show you all of the different poses. Actually, not yet. Nope. I have to put armor and stuff on him. Oh yeah, now I can show you. So, you can equip it when you're not crouching with anything. And, it can hold your tools and weapons. Or it can hold your blocks and stuff like that. Isn't that awesome? I was actually so excited for the parrots until I realized there were going to be these amazing looking armor stands. So yeah, this is the first pose that it normally starts with. Then we got this one, this one, this one. Actually, I'm going to take his sword out. He's going to have a sword later. This, and this, and this, and this. And this one is he like he's dabbing. I really like it. And this one, yay! Yay! Hey, look over there. And then, that's that. I'm going to pose him There we go. That's how I pose him and then he's destroyed. They also added music discs in the jukebox. Music disc in the jukebox. Unfortunately, even at highest volume, they make no sound whatsoever. Even when I put in a music disc, it just shows up randomly. What's that? And we also have banners.
I'm not going to show you all of them because they all look exactly the same. And then they always drop exactly the same. No matter what. Even in creative mode. Kind of like a shulker box when it has something in it. Just drop the shulker box. Showing everything I have. In creative, you could get you could get infinite amounts of your stuff. Now we also have fireworks too. I don't know how to change them into other things, but. Still, they're pretty cool. No, I lost the parrot spawn eggs. So, first up, right before the moment you've all been waiting for, which was the parrots, which is prob probably not what you were waiting for. But look, we've got zombie villager spawn eggs. Now we can spawn infinite zombie villagers. Way easier. Of course they're all gonna burn now. Look at them all just sitting there over there getting burned. Oh, I think they changed the burning animation too. Now it just turns out that they're different color changing. Ah, oh, they're all going into water. Hey, I got a potato. I'm not even using the double drops right now. Fine, he'll stay there. The parrots! And you can tame them with seeds. They can sit and stand. And if they hear a music disc. Bad pig. And then yeah, if you if it's if it's close to one that's working, they'll start dancing. I think only if it's tamed though. Hey! Oh, come here. I don't think you can make baby ones, though. Check it out. You walk up to them. They're on your shoulder! You can have up to two on your shoulder at a time. But once you hit the ground, they come off. You can get gray ones, blue ones, pirate ones, even green ones. Come on, you guys. Nope, nope, calm down. And you can have up to two on your shoulder at a time. And this should actually make a perch so you can leave your parrot alone at home. But I think you can already make one. I don't know if anyone has ever seen... I don't know if anyone has ever made one, so sorry if I'm just copying by accident. All I need are some oak fences. Like this, then get your parrot up here. Come on, oh, you 
can't detach them with the lead. No, no, come up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And he's gonna come on. And he accidentally went down my shoulder. So I'm gonna never mind. But you know how it's supposed but you see how it's supposed to work, right? They're supposed to come up here, and you can sit them down here, and then they can stay at there all the time. Until you want to use them, and then, until you want them to come with you. And they seem to, t to get interested by other thing things. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, they're all interested. Hear those, b hear those weird noises? See those hanging noises? See that? Did you hear that baby villager noise? That was the noise of a, what was it called? I don't even know. Of the baby zombie because they always try to copy the other animals and mobs and stuff. And there is always high pitched. And they're interested in other animals and mobs and stuff. But yeah, that was everything in the brand new 1.2 beta update. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Have a great day, and yeah, bye.